How do you get to navigate and understand your unique queue and get the best out of it? This is what this video is about. This home screen appears on your smartphone or dashboard, whichever you prefer to use, when you've completed the queue questionnaire and your personalized queue is ready. At the start of your queue journey, go to the About Me section and click on the icon. This area will let you know what behaviors normally form by the time you're six or seven that you find easier to do and what ones you find more stressful or challenging. And this is important to know as you navigate life so you know who you are and you can play to your natural strengths, the stuff you like, plus build more strengths when challenged in life as part of your personal development. And there are different areas to explore in this About Me section. Let's click on the videos. These are about understanding more about you. They're short and they're informative. And you can return to the previous page by clicking this return button here up on the top left-hand side of the screen next to the queue. Now we're going to go into who I am. This section has several tabs up the top. And when you click on each, you will go to that particular area. At the moment, we're in full profile. And this is the one where you should start. And this is particularly because all the information in this full profile is applied to all the other areas in Q, which are uniquely personalized for you. So it's a great foundation start for you to understand yourself better and know what makes you tick. Now, the chances of you having exactly the same profile as anyone else is one in a quintillion, a billion billion. And this is more than there are people in the world today. So if you ever feel you're different to everyone else, that is perfectly normal because it's true. You are unique. In fact, we all are. Your full profile tells you your natural comfort zones in the thinking and doing behaviors, which are written in blue, in your relating to others behaviors, which is written in yellow, and in your managing emotions behaviors, which is written in pink. These are your natural strengths. Plus, the full profile tells you about those behaviors which are written in gray, where you often feel more stressed when doing them. And we both have strengths and we both have what we would call a corresponding gap. These are the ones that stress us out. Let's have a look here and explore one of these. In blue, for thinking and doing, these are highlighted here. And these are the natural strengths of this particular person's profile. The extent of the strength is depending on where this dot falls on this 10 dot scientific scale. However, we won't explore that right now. We'll just focus in on the fact that we can identify what the natural strengths are and also realize where there is a corresponding gap which can potentially stress us out. So if somebody's very intuitive, they prefer to make decisions based on their gut instincts instead of hunting for facts to support them. So they potentially find it more stressful when they just feel in their gut that something is as it is, and then they've got to go and find a load of facts to back it up. They don't feel the need to do that. But the thing is, for other people who may be in this rational box, they would want that information because that plays into how they view the world. And it's important to know what stresses us out because it gives you the chance to learn new skills in order to be able to fast track and bridge these gaps between your strengths and those stressful behaviors. So you don't have to figure it all out on your own. That's what Q does. So Q also does this for relating to other behaviors, and it also does it for managing emotion behaviors. And these can be difficult to work out sometimes. Now, it's really important to highlight that no profile is good or bad. Each is individually unique, and no strength is better than another, as each behavior listed has both an up and a downside to it. For example, if we look at self-confident and we look at self-critical, some people may think, oh, I'm self-critical. That's worse than being self-confident. Not necessarily. The strength of being self-critical is that you'll feel a need to build and develop more skills naturally. The risk is that you can lack self-belief in your ability to achieve. However, if somebody's in the self-confident strength, the strength is that they believe in their abilities and they don't doubt themselves so much. The risk, however, is that they do not always think enough about other strengths that they need to develop. 
and so they could fall behind in their personal development. All these strengths, as well as the potential for growth, these gaps that we can sometimes feel that make us feel stressed, will be explored later in your strengths section of About Me. Now we're going to go back up to the top of the page and we're going to click on the Thinking and Doing tab. What we'll find in here is that we have different thinking and doing styles, different relating to other styles, different managing emotion styles. And depending on your unique profile, you will have a particular style. In this profile, the person is visionary. And what this means is they can generate new ideas for change. Other styles are implementer, so they create plans with clear priorities. Practitioner, they make plans happen. And strategist, who generate solutions to problems. Because not all of us do things and think about things in the same way. And it's really important that we understand that so that we can step into someone else's shoes and realize they just don't see the world in the same way that we do. Because if we can't do that, communication can get confused. And that's when we can get upset and our relationships suffer. So Q will explain how an implementer, a strategist, a practitioner, a visionary will behave when completing a particular project. They will also talk about what the typical strengths are of each of these styles. And they'll also explain why they've come to that conclusion about you. What's the science behind it? And it will show it to you too. Now, you'll remember earlier, we talked about where a particular dot in terms of a strength fell on this 10 dot scale. What does it mean? Okay, what it means is if it falls in the middle, that your preference between the strength and the gap is a mild one. And what that means is that you tend to be stronger on one side, but it's quite easy for you to flex your behavior to be able to also do the gap behavior on the other side. It's a pretty easy transition for you. Then if somebody's in the moderate place, then it's naturally stronger to be on one side, but it can shift to the other with a bit more effort if it's needed. And let's find an example of that. Their preference is to be pragmatic. However, with some effort, they will be able to move over to the perfectionist side. And then we have some behaviors that are very firm. They're very strong on one side. So shifting to the other side takes much greater effort and practice. And these are the ones that often stresses out the most. So be aware where your strengths are and the strength of your strength and become aware of when you have to flex your behavior and how challenging that is for you. Q also lets you discover more about your thinking and doing style. And you just have to click that let's go button in order for it to happen. They'll explore more about what makes up the visionary style and what that means particularly for you. And they will back it up with the science too, so you can see exactly why it's come to that conclusion. Q will also show you where your unique position is in the thinking and doing visionary box, because that's the example we have in front of us. It's like a unique fingerprint that applies to you. It'll show you that you're transforming in your thinking, but also flexible and you're comfortably a visionary because you're right bang in the middle. As you can see, other people are different. Some people are focused and transforming. That would make them a strategist. Other people are developing and focused. So they're good at making things happen and getting things done. Other people are practitioners. They will be more developing, but also flexible in how they approach things. We're all different. And we should never forget that these other styles exist. And Q will do this for relating to others. It'll also do this for managing emotions. And it'll also look at your drivers. These are your motivations, the ones that are the most to least important for you. It'll explain exactly what each one means so you can get a sense of when that's present for you, you're much more likely to be happy and engaged. Now, to return to About Me, press this little icon down the bottom of the screen and it'll take you straight back. Now, you'll know earlier that I mentioned my strengths. In your strengths, Q will look at your thinking and doing strengths and potentials, those things you find easy to do, plus the gap where you have the potential for personal development. It does it for thinking and doing, relating to others, and managing emotions. And it breaks down what the strength is, thing you find easy to do, plus there's a possibility of something that you may not do. So that you can highlight this to you so you can become more aware of it. Because sometimes when we don't do what we're supposed to do, or 
We just avoid doing it. We don't get the outcomes we want. And then we can feel unhappy and even more stressed. And Q will also let you to start to convert your potentials into strengths because it starts to give you some advice about what you can do next. So let's just click on the let's go button. Q provides practical advice so you can get a sense of what you can do to bridge those gaps. So you can start to soar to new heights. And with practice, we can pretty much achieve anything. When you first started walking as a young child, you didn't give up when you first fell down. You got back up again and you had another go. And sometimes that's what we need to do. But with practice and effort and focus, we can pretty much achieve anything. When we want to return to the home screen, we can go back up here to the left-hand side of your screen and click on the Q button. And now we're back to the home screen. And in the next video, we'd explore confidence.